fried beans. All right, so this yeah. is color hey, Express, fried. guys. You got to do it twice. So this is a tamale with some green chili. Very good. You got to do the Santiago's plug. <laughs> this is not an endorsement, but Santiago's is amazing. Good stuff. After a few days of 40 and 50 degree weather and a little bit of wind, it's starting to melt guys. So I'm starting the day working and it's going to be a good day today. It's like warm outside and I'm getting a jump start on some of the things I need to do first and got that in hand that's my that's my uh, equipment for today so let's get started this morning has been really tricky actually i went to bed last night super super cranky like totally fearful of my trip to lanai and let me tell you why i i'm afraid to leave my baby who's six, six and a half months old. Gotta leave her behind, she's breastfeeding. I'm leaving behind my whole family who I adore. I don't know, I can I am going to do some serious soul work on the island. I am not going there for a fun vacation. I'm going there for a transformational vacation. This is gonna be the foundation for which this year is built on. I'm gonna get freed up from a ton of stuff. So I feel scared about that. So doing soul work is really hard but it's worth it. Mommy. All these things came to head last night. Oh, and then they throw on finances. The fact that we've had to basically sell our soul for me to go to this trip, not good, right? I had a super panic last night. I am leaving in five days. Mommy. Super panic last night and I was like, I'm quitting. I'm not gonna do this. I am not going to give up. Don't give up. I went to bed last night with that attitude and I woke up this morning. I had a crazy dream last night and I can't get into the details of it because it's really significant <clears throat> to me. And it's also really gory and really raw. But it showed me that I need to return back to my roots and my roots are that my identity is not found in anybody in this world. And that God is on a mission to set me free to do what I was born to do. But you know what that tells me is that not only is that true, but that's true for you too, because he wouldn't give me that idea if it wasn't meant for me to be said here on this vlog. We do a lot of fun things here at this vlog, right? We're just a family living life, but I want you to know, Burris and I live in the deep, deep end of the pool. We ask some really deep questions, things that make me feel so uncomfortable. It's time to live a different life. If we want to be the adventurous, set free family that we long to be, if we're gonna question the status quo, it's gonna take some serious, serious soul searching and serious, serious healing. Back up to the surface a little bit. Let's get some air. I gotta go pay rent. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna drop these yahoos off to play. I miss my husband super, super bad, and I feel awful for yelling at him last night. Can I just tell you, if you have a husband who is incredibly patient, like the one like Burris is, you are blessed. He is so kind to me, and even though he stomped his way up the stairs last night and said, I'm done, I'm going to bed, he did it out of love. He didn't want me to entertain any more words that created doubt, and that's a gift. Super big gift. I love you, babe. So after the gym, I get to do some work. I love going back to work. Mondays are my jam. And this is the week that I head to Hawaii. God, we have a busy day today. Oh. 
when you're trying to uh, shoot for your goal, you'll work as hard as you can to get to it. One of our goals is to get me home. Quit my job. Quit to quit my job, and uh, so we can actually work together, my wife and I. Um, right now, I'm at work. Um, I actually just did a few things at Starbucks. And now I'm heading to our gym, which has a cafe in it, by the way. And it's got two hours worth of childcare. So my kids are there. They're going to be there. They're at childcare for two hours. My wife actually works while they're being watched at the gym. I'm headed there right now so I could spend some time with her because we try to do that as much as we can and we're thankful that we have we are able to do that um, but in July we're shooting for me to quit my job let's see if we can make that happen <laughs> Excited to see me. I know. <laughs> she just woke up though, and she got scared earlier. Hi. I took her in the bathroom with me, Hi. and I flushed the toilet, and it was super <laughs> loud, and it like startled her. So sometimes this is the life, guys, right here. Mom's trying to work and work at the same time. <laughs> So I had to go back to Starbucks just for a little bit to uh, upload a video and this is like the second video that I've messed up and forgotten the dates, the titles, and everything. It sucks. But I'm going to try to get better at that because I don't ever look at that. I just, I just upload the video and that's it. So anyhow, um, I have got to do run some several errands before I head home and I should be home pretty quickly to see my lovely lady Next 
Hey, who's coming over tonight? Um, why are you getting me all my makeup on? Oh, that's mean. Who's coming over? Jeremy and Christina. They're super sweet. They are an awesome couple. I love her. She challenges me in a good way. So, uh, the cool thing is, is uh, not very often do we find a couple that we would like to hang out like until 1 a.m. with. And they are that couple. They're that couple that you can hang out and talk to till like two in the clock, two o'clock in the morning. I hope we don't go till two o'clock in the morning. No. Time. Just an analogy, babe. Oh, they're coming over tonight. We're gonna have tamales. It's the second night we've had people over tonight. Nice. I like it. Hey to the vlog. <laughs> oh boy. What? I didn't sign a release. I didn't either. <laughs> They win. Yeah. Hey, answer. These we are want the royalties from this. That's right. Royalties? Yes. Is this a video? When I start it making is? when I start making money on it, I'll give you some money on it. Okay. Oh, we have that on <laughs> camera. You can fried beans. Alright, so this yeah. is Colorado hey, you Express, guys. You gotta do it twice. So this is a tamale with some green chili. Very good. You gotta do the Santiago's plug. <laughs> this is not an endorsement. But Santiago's is amazing. Good stuff. These mm -hmm. tamales were not paid. Les is making refried beans. So there's pintos in the food processor. Boom, there they are. Good. Makes your mouth water, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the sponsors continue to donate both monetarily and with their volunteers to help make this Thanksgiving basket program a continued success. And whereas the Epworth Foundation appreciates the hundreds of donors and the 1,000 plus volunteers whose donations, time, and acts of kindness make this event an annual success. Therefore, I, John W. Hickenlooper, Governor of the state of Colorado to hereby officially proclaim November 22nd, 2014, Denver Feed and Family Day. All right. Bye, guys. So this is what we do when the kids go to bed, when and our friends, when leave. Our friends <laughs> leave, and we buy new clothes. Ready? <laughs> I'm trying to go low, because if we go low, it's really hard. Good night, guys.